This was the day we left the Isle of Skye, 1992. Dad got a job and we moved to Inverness. That was me then. This is me now. I've changed a bit. And so has Skye. As part of the My Land, My Story campaign, I was given the task of tracking down the exact spot that photo was taken to see what's different. There is no ferry here anymore, and that's because of one big change. Right there, the Sky Bridge. Now you can get on or off the island at any time of day, but it wasn't always that easy. You had to get a ferry from here to there, but now you can just drive from there to here. So what's changed? Well, it's quiet in winter, but this is the main gateway for tourism to Sky. Over 600,000 people a year visit. The industry helps create jobs, but has also been blamed for adding to housing problems and the lack of affordable accommodation here. See that name? Saucy Mary. She was a Norwegian princess who charged a toll for boats to use this channel. She hung a metal chain from Castle Mile to the mainland. And did you know? You had to pay to use the bridge when it opened. That's the toll booth. It was controversial, plenty of locals refused to pay, some even ended up in court. But now that booth is the office of a local development trust. They've installed electric car chargers and woodland walking trails around a community-owned woodland in Ploch, or the Ploch of Kyle. It might look remote to some people, but there's industry here. This is a fish feed factory built in recent years to supply fish farms. Some people will tell you that because of the bridge, Skye's not even an island anymore. But don't let the ski any, that's people from Skye, hear you saying that. Places change. Can you track down somewhere that's changed through a photo? It's not always easy to nail the exact spot, but this is it. In 1933, the farmland was dug for the extraction of sand and gravel. After the land was dug out, the quarried farmland was allowed to naturally fill up with water. Today, there are many new uses for the ponds. Some activities included are bird watching with a purpose built bird hides, swimming with the extension of the two dogs, and walking with the paths going through both ponds. In the future, we can introduce different species within the area, like new fish in both ponds and more wildlife in the forest. For example, more deer, squirrels, and more. The forestry will also expand over time, letting more complex plants grow and more area for the land organisms to live. As we walk away from Kemley, we stumble across some remaining granite from the quarry, which has older locations Kemley granite has gone inscribed onto it. <laughs> 